Hello everybody. Now today I'm going to teach you what is permanent magnet synchronous machine. This is unit number five and subject spatial machine. So we move on the contain of our presentation. Firstly, we introduced uh, what is permanent magnet synchronous machine, its definition, its construction and its classification. After this, we will, we will move on working principle and its control scheme means which type of control scheme present in permanent magnet synchronous machine. So let's start it. We know that the synchronous machine is a doubly excited energy conversion device. What is the meaning of doubly excitation? It means we will supply both the side like stator as well as rotor. Every rotating electrical machine consists two main winding. One is called the field winding and other is called the armature winding. In case of synchronous machine, the armature winding is stationary and the field winding is rotating. In case of DC machine, the field winding is always excited by a separate DC source and the armature winding is excited by the three-phase AC supply. So the construction of permanent magnet synchronous machine is just similar to construction of synchronous machine. The modification is that the rotor of the synchronous machine is replaced by the permanent magnet. So we get the permanent magnet synchronous machine. So permanent magnet synchronous machine is a synchronous electrical motor whose rotor consists a permanent magnet. The main difference between the permanent magnet synchronous machine and the induction motor in the rotor construction. It's just like as an induction motor. Study show that the permanent magnet has the efficiency of approximately 2% more than that the highly efficient induction electric motor. Permanent magnet synchronous electrical motor in comparison with the other electrical motor have the best performance, power, volume, torque and inertia equity. So now second we will move the construction and its classification. So permanent magnet synchronous machine consists of two main part. One is called the stator, another is called the rotor. You can see the diagram. The total construction diagram of the permanent magnet synchronous machine is so in a figure. This is an interior permanent magnet synchronous machine. Consists of a rotor as well as the stator. The stator is a stationary part of the machine and the rotor is a rotating part of the machine. Typically, the rotor is located inside the stator of the electrical motor. There are also structure with an external rotor inside out electrical motor. So there is two type of construction used in a permanent magnet synchronous machine. You can see the diagram. Both the types of permanent magnet synchronous machine. The rotor consists of the permanent magnet. So this machine is known as permanent magnet synchronous machine. The material which is highly corrosive force are used as a permanent magnet. According to the rotor design, synchronous motor are divided into two categories. Electrical motor with the salient pole construction and electrical motor with non-salient pole construction. What is the meaning of salient pole? Salient poles means the projected poles. And non-salient means the cylindrical as well as the round rotor. In a salient pole synchronous machine, There is two reactants, XD and XQ, because air gap is not uniform. But in case of non-salient poles construction, air gap between stator and rotor is uniform. An electrical motor with the non-salient pole rotor has an equal direct and quadrature axis inductance as well as the reactants. So you can see the presentation LD is equal to LQ. LD is called the direct axis inductance and LQ is called the quadrature axis inductance. Whereas for an electrical motor with a salient pole rotor, the quadrature inductance is not equal to the direct axis. 
means LQ is not equal to the LD or XQ is not equal to XT. You can see the diagram. Also according to the design of the rotor, the permanent magnets are divided into two categories. Number one is surface permanent magnet synchronous motor, another is called the interior permanent magnet synchronous motor. So first we will see the diagram of surface permanent magnet synchronous motor. And now we will move the diagram of interior permanent magnet synchronous motor. The stator consists of the outer frame and core with the winding. The most common design with the two or three phase winding. Depending on the stator design, a permanent magnet synchronous motor can be divided into two categories with distributed binding and with concentrated binding. So today we will complete the lecture. We will move the topic in next lecture. So thank you for watching the video and any doubt, any query regarding this. So please ask me.